A big part of the mission of the International Space Station is to get humankind ready for future missions out into the solar system. When those future astronauts set off, they may want to take some of the comforts of home along with them, perhaps their own plants, but less so for the ambiance than maybe as a source of food. For more on this story, go this morning to my colleague Bill Hubscher at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Thanks, Pat. It is pretty much accepted in the scientific community that the physiology of plants and animals will change during long duration flights in orbit. But what about genetic changes? We caught up with Imara Pereira investigating the plant DNA to see and learn more about why this is such an important field of study. What I'm really interested in is how plants sense and respond to the environment, and so in particular to the microgravity environment. And so our first experiment was to look at a molecular level, what are the changes that occur in plants when they grow under microgravity. So our first experiment was called plant signaling in microgravity. Um, it was with the Ames Research Center. Since it was our first experiment, we had a little bit of a learning curve, but not too much. Um, the plant experiments are fairly easy to set up because we can send the seed dry mounted and they don't grow till it actually gets into the hardware in the EMCS and gets started by hydration. So there is some period of time where the plants will, the seeds will be inert and uh, so there's a little bit of time in terms of uh, handover and uh, before the experiment needs to start. So we set up everything in the hardware at NASA Ames. Um, we took all our seed over there and used their hardware and set it up. And the plants went up on the very last space shuttle, STS-135, which is very special. And we got to see that. We got passes to see the um, takeoff. Um, and then the experiment was carried out, so this was July 2011, and then um, on orbit on the ISS, we had two experimental runs back to back that was uh, done in August of 2011. Everything went pretty well. We had excellent germination. We would get uh, images downlinked every six hours, almost in real time. So we knew exactly how well the experiment worked as far as the plants growing and everything. And then at the end of the experiment, the astronaut uh, collected the samples and put them in the freezer. So our new investigation is called plant RNA regulation. We will use the same hardware as before. We will have some modifications to the experimental setup. Uh, just to refine it a little bit more and to make it more physiologically relevant to how plants grow on Earth, for example. We will actually include a time point so there will be a temporal component to the experiment because the first experiment was just harvested after five days. But because we saw some interesting changes in the development of the plant roots in microgravity compared to 1, 1G, uh, we propose to have two time points so we can dissect that difference a little bit better. Why is the uh, station such an important platform for you in your uh, investigation in particular? Well, I think um, it's mainly because we cannot replicate those conditions on Earth. I mean, we have different simulations, but they're not quite the same thing. And uh, in order to understand how plants respond to microgravity, this is one of the particularly long-term microgravity. So we could use different kinds of platforms if we just wanted to look at what happens instantly or within a few minutes. But if we want to see how do plants adapt to this environment and grow over a period of time, then we need to have sustained microgravity. So uh, I think the space station is our best option. Clearly in terms of um, space and uh, long duration missions, it's important to understand and be able to grow plants in space. But the space environment has various adverse or unfavorable or unfamiliar conditions uh, compared to what plants encounter on Earth. So we think it is a good um, it can give us important information as to how plants can deal with other adverse situations here on Earth. I mean, uh, we know the climate is changing. We know um, we need to grow more plants in more um, unfavorable habitats. So um, all of all of these things can be um, useful. We, we can get useful information uh, towards answering some of those questions.
doing space research has been uh, really exciting and one of the nicest things about it is how excited the students get so as an educator it it, uh, it inspires so much interest and enthusiasm and so we've had a lot of students uh, who've been um, um, who wanted to come and work in the lab and be exposed to this research. A quick look now inside the Payload Operations Integration Center, mission control for science on the International Space Station, where NASA flight controllers are on site 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to guide and manage scientific discoveries in orbit. And that'll do it from the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville.